Hi, my name is Steve Hughes, and welcome back to my channel. It's been about a week, actually. I think I talked to you uh, last Friday when I was in the car on the way to an appointment last Friday night, and so we've got a couple of days. Uh, in any case, uh, I just wanted to kind of check in with you a little bit and uh, share some things that I think might be helpful. The title of the video is Keep It Simple, and uh, basically it's talking about focus on the basics. And um, with all the people I talk to, again, the number one question I get out there from each one of you. By the way, uh, the number one question, let me just finish my thought, is uh, what's the best IMO? And all of you want to know that information and watch more of my videos. You'll find out that, that should be part of the answer, but it's not the only question that you should be answering, uh, that you should be asking, excuse me, uh, when you're talking to those recruiters out there. And, you know, getting back to that, on this channel, uh, I spent a lot of time and, and, I, and I, I can tell you that we've had some victories lately and that things are beginning to change, whereas uh, it's, all of these IMOs that, uh, you know, it's recruit, 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 don't get those three things out of order, uh, a lot of them are still like that. Uh, and that's just their business plan. You can decide whether or not that's good or bad for you. That's up to you. It's a business plan. It's a business model, I guess, is a better way to say it. Um, and either you like it or you don't like it. It's not about whether or not you should build an agency. I think most people should. If they like people and they like to help and, and work with people to succeed, to take their lives to a, uh, to a different level. But And this could be a video in of itself. But the requirement to build an agency for you to get paid what you're worth based on your own personal production is where I kind of go sideways on the whole thing. Is that if you're a good producer and you're and you're bringing premium to that IMO and to that uh, insurance company and that qualifies you to get paid as a top producer, you should be getting paid as a top producer. If not, you need to be talking to me. Uh, you know, or talking to somebody that will that will you know pay you what you're worth, and then if you decide to build an agency, good, pay me an override, pay me a finder's fee on that volume for sure. But the challenge with this industry is, and I talk to a lot of people, probably a hundred a week, that had this same situation, and they go, well, you know, they do require uh, recruiting in order for me to get promoted, but you know, and I don't mind building an agency, but that's not the point. You know, it, it, whether you mind it or not mind it, here's the thing, is that you can't control what other people are going to do. You and I can't motivate somebody to get off the couch if they're simply not willing to get off the couch, right? But what, day in, day out, you want to get paid what you're worth. That's the business. That's the volume. That's the, that's your work. That's you getting in the car. That's you getting on a telesale uh, and doing the work and, 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 and closing that sale, protecting that family, and sending those premium dollars to the IMO and to the carrier. And if you qualify for top pay, you should get it. So on this channel, we talk a lot about that, that stuff. We talk about the different IMOs. We talk about the competition. We talk about the... the uh, the uh, compensation, we talk about uh, the, the various different products, you know, whether it be life, health, mortgage section, um, final expense, med subs, Medicare Advantage, whatever. We talk about all of that stuff here. And, uh, and in 2020, you want to be a full service agent. Bottom line, you want to be able to have the ability to sell a lot of different various products, not get pigeonholed into one area. So uh, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. It's down whatever it is, you'll see it. It's a big subscribe button down here. Uh, mash the subscribe button, hit that bell, give me a thumbs up if you find the content worthwhile. Uh, if you don't, give me a thumbs down. But it's all about the thumbs up on YouTube. Yeah, I would appreciate it. Be grateful for uh, the time that I spend to come here and try to help all of you to at least subscribe and hit that thumbs up button to help me get my message out to more people and grow my channel. That I would appreciate it and be grateful for. So if you just, while you're watching the video, just mash the subscribe, hit the bell. You get instant notifications when I do do, uh, do do, do do, whatever it is. Do some live stream videos to and from my own appointments where I'm out protecting families. Uh, then you'll get the instant notifications. Otherwise, you'll get them uh, when everybody else gets them on email, what have you. So, and that you'll get through the subscribe button. M share some comments. Ask some questions. I'm here to help you make the decision. It's not always going to be a fit for you and I to work together. So, this is not a recruiting channel. Uh, I'm trying to, uh, it started very simply a couple of years ago just to try to help all of you know the questions to ask those recruiters before you sign on that dotted line. And I have a document that I've been giving away, which is the top 10 questions, I think it's 12 now, that you should get answered before you make a decision. 
And if you'll click the link in, in the description, join the Agents of Sis Academy. There is no charge. Understand, I don't sell leads. I don't sell training, right? I don't have someone calling you to sell you websites. You know, all these things that people do uh, that kind of spin off on their YouTube channel, I don't do here, right? Uh, I'm simply here to, to give you some information to make sure you make a good, solid decision, help you in that respect. And if you are looking for a place to go, and if you really want what everybody else wants, which is great compensation, great training, great support at the ground level, not 30,000 feet in the area, uh, and we're a fit to work together, then fine, we'll work together. But if not, uh, take advantage of the channel and uh, take advantage of the free documents. I've got a couple of there, things there that you'll get by clicking that link. Uh, below in the description. Getting back to my video. Uh, keep it simple. Uh, a lot of you, especially in the COVID times we're going through right now, the up and down of the you know lockdown, not lockdown, whatever it is, telesales, face-to-face, you got to keep this business simple. We are in the relationship business, first and foremost. That's why telesales is okay because you can work leads outside your geographic area, right? So I think that's the so that, that's that is the advantage of the telesales. The disadvantage is is that it's not. I mean, you got to be really, really good on the phone, and and even then, I think a lot of it is um, out of your control to be able to build a relationship with somebody uh, when there's that computer between you and them, and you're not sitting in the home because that's where relationships are built. Kneecap and kneecap over the kitchen table in their home. That being said, uh, a lot of people are doing telesales now. Uh, they're trying to do telesales as a full-time deal and not do any face-to-face. I think that's not necessarily a great decision. I think you should be doing at least half or more of your appointments face-to-face. Here's how I, what I tell my agents. If they'll allow you to meet with them, then go meet with them, right? Um, if, you, if they won't, then you've got to meet them where they're, where they're willing to meet you at, whether it be FaceTime, Zoom, GoToMeeting, Skype, whatever it is. Um, that's where you got to meet them. So uh, just you know, understand that there's the di- certain dynamics that you can't control uh, in, uh, in the tells. But what it does do is it removes the geographic barrier around your business, which I think is fantastic, outstanding. You can be in Ohio and call and leads in Honolulu. Uh, and that's that's something you can't do with face to face. So it's about a mixture. It's not about one or the other. I think, in my opinion, okay. So the first thing is uh, number one in keeping it simple is mindset. You gotta believe in this business. You gotta believe that you and I are doing something that matters. We're not selling uh, cars or vacuum cleaners, right? We're so you know what we do. Somebody's gonna die on your watch. And, uh, and what I mean by that is, is that is somebody's going to die that's a policyholder, right? And you're going to go out there and deliver that death benefit check, or vice versa. You're not going to you're going to let somebody die that's in your family. You're a warm market, and you were too chicken to go out there and take you know be, you know take the take the uh, the lead so to speak, and go talk to them about life insurance. You know, mortgage takes you to final expense. It's life insurance. It's your term or whole life. You know, we sell life insurance here, so everybody's your prospect. Right, you've heard me say it before. Thirty-nine percent of the people in the country have it, and those and those, those out of that thirty-nine percent, about half have uh, enough, but sixty-nine percent don't have any, right? So, or fifty-nine percent uh, don't have any. So the whole world's your market. So you should be out there. That's a different video about how you should generate your business. You know how you should generate leads in your business outside of buying leads from the IMO. Uh, look, it's old school. Everybody, you know, would you not want, to, if you owned a gas station, right, everybody needs to put gas in a car, would you not tell people you own a gas station down on, you know, 5th and Central? Sure you would. Same thing here, right? So uh, you got to believe in what we do here. We make, we get, we, the margins in this business are fantastic. We get paid very, very well for what we do. Um, no question about that, right? But if you don't believe in it, and if you sell it like you're selling a car or, or a vacuum cleaner or a piece of furniture, you're going to struggle in this business. And I've told my agents before, you're going to you're going to you're going to have that salesy mindset until someone dies that you sold a policy to, or someone dies that you did not sell a policy to. Then you become an agent. The next thing is work, right? Work, W O R K, which means you got to work this business. 
Just because you sign up and get a license, it's a business. And I think this is where a lot of people fail in this business is, is they really think like they get a license and they can sign up to, with an IMO and that IMO is going to send them, you know, tons of business. Or all the leads they sell you are going to be great leads. You're going to close 100% of them. If you close 50% of them, you're going to be lucky. It's about 30%. Okay, and those numbers work very, very well because you get paid very well. Some of you don't have the right expectations and you get down, you get depressed, you get disgruntled, and you lose a heart for the business. But understand, it is a business. It is going to take work, more work on the front end than, than long term. Once you learn how to do this business, as long as you are learning, you're working with a coach or mentor, right, and you're getting that ground level support every single day, case by case, paint by the numbers, not the IMO. The IMO is in the business to, to train everybody from all different experiences in this industry, right? Some people veteran agents, some people brand new. The, the, the person is going to work with you that, that is leading from the front, that's also selling themselves and has a proven track record of selling themselves, right? Going out there and, and succeeding in the field, putting the uniform on just like you and I put the uniform on. It's the person you want, you want to team up with. You know, it's not, it's not a sign-up thing. I had somebody tell me the other day, well, I'm going to sign up with somebody in my local area. Please, it's, it's, it's more important than that. Your success is dependent on that one-on-one -on -one coaching and mentoring day in, day out, right? It just is. And if you just sign up with somebody that's a relative or, you know, it's a, you, if you want to do that, go, go sign up for, you know, Mary Kay or Tupperware or, or some network marketing business. That maybe it doesn't matter. But if you want to be su successful in this business, you want to be serious about it, that coach and mentor, that person that, that has a track record of success and has a plug and play uh, time tested and proven system in place that you can learn from is critical to your success especially at the beginning, okay? The next thing is lead strategy. You got to figure out what kind of leads you're going gonna to work. There's very, there's free leads and there's $80 leads, right? And look, the only variation, the only, the only reason why the leads cost more money is they're, is, is they're better quality or they're fresher. And fresh means everything later on in your career. Initially, you want to you want to work some leads that may be a little bit more a little older and maybe what I call historical leads and that's you know we, and you know that's what we can have that conversation but you want it to you don't want it to be easy you want to, you want to get better in your skill set which is handling objections again newsflash just because they fill out a form and said hey listen I want uh, I'm interested in final expense or more session doesn't mean they're they're sitting by the phone waiting for Steve to call <laughs> right. <laughs> So, you know, again, it's setting the correct expectations. Things change. Life insurance is an event-based business. They may have lost a friend. Someone got the COVID, whatever. That form came in the mail. They sent it in because they were worried about their own mortality. But now, hey, the COVID is coming to an end, and life's great, and, they're, and they feel like they're going to live forever. Right? Understand, no one buys life insurance in this world willingly. They buy life insurance for what it, not for what it is, but for what it does for them. In other words, they want to protect their family. They want to protect their mortgage. They want to protect their child, their kids, you know, futures and dreams and put, put some money away for a college funding. They don't buy a life insurance policy. They buy a life insurance policy for what it does for their family. So keep that in mind. The next thing is like, <coughs> excuse me, is prospecting. Okay? The next thing is prospecting. And, you know, I, I kind of touched on it, but, it, it, but it's about marketing your business. It's, it comes down to talking to everybody around you to find that free business that you're not paying for. And then it's also about working a lead program, but getting on the phone, working in your business, okay? And, and you know, making sure that everybody that you come in contact with knows what it is that you're doing. I made a sale last week for three thousand dollars for someone that, that uh, was was uh, worked in my home. You know, again, everybody needs this, and we we have a responsibility to make sure that their family, if they have kids and they're married, they got a mortgage, they have a responsibility to their family, right, to leave them in better shape than they found them if they were to pass away. And we have a responsibility to, to let them know that, that they should be taking that responsibility very seriously and taking action on it. So number five is sit with people. <laughs> 
Well, you know, I, I guess you can say you visit with people if you're doing virtual sales. But I, I, I look, this is a relationship business. I said earlier, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it. But it will always be a relationship business unless you want to be uh, dumbed down to nothing more than a telemarketer. And if that's the case, everybody, there's plenty of places on the Internet people, where people can get uh, quotes for life insurance on the Internet. And what, 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 is, what is there of any value for them to stick with you? Remember, lo- you want to be in this business long term to, to, and you want to be vested and you want to be getting a residual income and there is no residual income if the product doesn't stay on the books right manage your pendings once you get the you get the uh, policy sold, sold and it's and you've sent it into the carrier you gotta get you gotta work the pendings it ain't just gonna pop out the other side some of them do most of them don't there's carriers that delay there's a you might miss you might have missed a signature what you gotta you gotta have some admin time right and, and the more business that you do the more time that's going to take and also the, the IMO you're with also uh, will make a difference because a lot of them have technology now where you can get instant updates on your policy. I know that we do, and so we can run our business in a matter of a half an hour from our cell phone here, uh, you know, not having to call the carriers, which is a nightmare nowadays because they're like it's a half hour hold if you're lucky to get somebody on the phone and underwriting. And the next thing is follow up. Follow up with your prospects. Look for referrals. Again, it goes back to getting free leads uh, or, or free business outside the lead program. The reason why you want to do a lead program and the reason why it changed this industry exponentially in terms of the money, money you can make in this business is because you can scale your, your uh, income by the number of leads you're working, whereas warm market's not quite as consistent. Referrals aren't quite as consistent. Right, everybody only has a certain amount of warm market outside. That you can, you know, you should be talking about your business. But I can control my income based on the number of people I'm talking to each week or sitting down with, and I can determine that by how many leads I buy. Does that make sense? Now that's revolutionary. You write that one down. So I mean, it's all about the law of large numbers. I have a video that if you go go look on my channel here and find it. But you can really, it's you know, math, success here is nothing more than a mathematical equation. Once you know the numbers and you can figure out or determine what your closing percentage is on the on booking the appointment and on in the home you can dial in exactly what you need to do to make make the money you need to make it week and there's no question about it at all right so that's good uh, and then the last thing is if you are going to build an agency you should be talking to people about joining your agency hiring agents is, is a is a big up is, is a is a big opportunity in this business for those of people that like to talk to you know like to hire people or like to work with people or like to train people or like people in general Right, and then look. Those, so that's, that's, those are eight things that I, I, can, I wanted to throw at you today. But again, just you know, focus on the basics, keep it simple, and then just rinse and repeat. So look, I appreciate you being here with me today. Um, I got a lot of content that I've, that I've got notes on here that I'm trying to get get formulated into into some videos. We've still got to finish our three ways we make money in this industry. The number th- the three, or the third one is. Um, that passive income stream. I'll, I'll try to get that one out here in the next couple of days. But I appreciate you being here. Again, remember, if you haven't subscribed, please do. If you haven't uh, uh, commented, leave me a comment. You can always reach me. My information is in the description. My cell phone, my email is in there as well. And um, mash the bell for instant notifications. And listen, give me a thumbs up on this video if you saw value in it. I appreciate it. It would help me grow my channel. Grateful that you're here. And listen, we got a heck of a year left to go here. It's been a crazy first part of the year. Uh, and look, it, you know, nothing like a pandemic to, 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 uh, to, to put the fear of God in people to realize that they can't control their demise, right? And so they need life insurance. That's why it's up in the top five of the Google searches right now. So go out there and make it a great year. If I can help you, give me a call. Bye-bye.